Okay, chicken is starting to look good with that finished cooking. Like, maybe like not more. I'm gonna flip it and then uh, cook it on the other side for maybe 25 minutes. Body though. It's the body though. The mommy body though. It's the body though. The mommy body y'all wash our rice because i seen somebody on here or not on here on some other social media and she said that she stopped washing our rice i was like damn but i'm trying to figure out is the washing of the rice or something black people do like the washing of the chicken definitely wash my chicken i can't i can't stop doing that but is that a thing that we only do or is does the bag say wash your rice i never looked at that Let's take a look. I did not see on here where it says you have to wash your rice. It's just giving you like the instructions on how to do it, but it's not telling you to wash your rice. Maybe that's a black thing. I finished my chicken. This is how it's looking. So delicious. Seasoned to perfection. Got the rice on. So I think I'm gonna do some yellow rice and then these beans that I made some tacos with taco tacos and nachos with last night. I'm gonna take a shower and do all of that and then I'm gonna come back and eat so that I can relax. Hopefully Arlo is still asleep. Good morning. I woke up this morning. You know how you wake up when you know you don't slept past the time you're supposed to get up? That was me. But I had forgot I had a client. I knew I was waking up for some reason. I forgot I had a client today. So I'm about to go on Walgreens right now. Give me something to nibble on, something to drink, and then I'm gonna head to the salon. And who my client today, she is probably just doing like a natural style. That's what she usually does. She's one of my older clients, so shouldn't be too much today. And then I woke up this morning, bags under my eyes, just super full. <sighs> I made it to the salon, um, but the only thing is my client ended up rescheduling. So I am going to be doing her hair either tomorrow or sometime next week, probably tomorrow, because next week is the holiday. Um, and I don't wanna play with my week like that. So, what I'm gonna do is, since I came to the salon already, what I'm gonna do is try to edit the video that I said I was gonna edit. I used to have music playing in the background when um, I am in the salon, you know, just to get the vibe or whatever. But, <sighs> y'all know how. This copyright stuff go. Ooh, this is good right here. Um, I had mentioned earlier, I feel like I woke up so swole this morning. Like my back, the, um, as you can still see, I have bags under my eyes, which isn't out of the normal because, you know, I usually, I think that's hereditary. I just felt really bloated. And I don't know why. I think I do know why. I eat at, like I'll eat dinner around 10, 9, 30, 10 at night. Sometimes, I think last night we ate dinner at 11. So I have to start watching what I eat and how I'm eating it at the time. That's why I'm having a banana this morning. Also, I went to uh, my primary care got some tests ran because 
But your girl was cranky. I had low, it was low glucose, and then um, vitamin D deficient. I feel like you should always know what's going on with your body. Always, at all times, know what's going on with your body. Um, learning your body, like learning what makes you feel a certain way. Um, learning what the feeling is. Like, what, what am I feeling? Knowing yourself is very important. I ended up going to Walgreens and just got some things. Then I wanted to try something new with my deodorant and my sprays. So, as of lately, I've just been using um, Marc Jacobs' Daisy Love. It's been pretty good for the summer, but I want something more light that I can, like, whenever it's time for bed, I can spray on me. Got this Native deodorant body spray so hopefully it's good to it say it's free of parabens and, and aluminum which you know isn't good for us ozone friendly so it's good for down there um i'm guessing that was that's what ozone means oh so we're gonna try that and then we have the deodorant to follow so i still think it's giving me spring vibes like very light it's pretty good we're gonna see how how long it lasts throughout the day rose almond ja twisting butter i um seen that they had a sale on it so i got this for i think originally it's 16 dollars, and i got it for 10 something so that's what we at with it i'm about to get on my laptop try to delete some of this stuff off of my computer that is why i didn't upload or start editing editing girl talk that is why i did not start editing the video because whenever i was trying to upload it to iMovie it was giving me a signal that i had insufficient storage on my laptop so i had to delete some stuff i am leaving the dodge dealership I had to get the battery replaced on the key fob, which I don't even think was necessary because after he replaced the battery, it still didn't work. Come to find out, he said that the pieces inside of the fob is what's going to need to be replaced soon. I asked him how much the new fob was and he told me $200 with a $90 fee of just some BS basically like a $90 labor fee of $90 I think is what he said but I placed my order for my lunch and then I'm gonna head to Target Arla needs some more diapers which I ordered some Mediterranean food like a build your own bowl I've been feeling like I need more veggies in my life you know trying to do right by this body of mine I said my order's not gonna be ready until about 10 more minutes so I'm about to look at these Facebook um, food options looks really good I might try that I want to go to Aldi's because I've been seeing a lot of good recipes on Facebook, like little snacks and stuff too. All right, got my food. It came out to be about $15, but it looks so good. I hope it's not too spicy. And then I got me this watermelon juice and I mixed it with cucumber water. Yep. Tastes very refreshing. This is the bowl that I got. I wonder if it costs that much. This is a two people's bowl. I have eaten on this. You got meatballs, you got lentils, you have chickpea, feta, some olives. Um, what else you have? Some grilled onions, rice at the bottom. Some chicken. I forgot what this was. Pita bread. 
So yeah, we're gonna see how that is. Take the first bite on here. When you eat something, you gotta get all of it. Like you gotta get the whole thing. We're just gonna taste the top first and get a meatball. Oh, it's good. So we have the meal that we're gonna cook from Aldi's. We're gonna show y'all what I got. Ooh, okay. So we're gonna do some pasta. Ended up getting some vodka sauce. It's a mixture between marinara, then with some Parmesan and cream. Got two bags of spinach. Half and half because they did not have um, heavy whipping cream. I usually use that when I make my Alfredo sauce, but so half and half. Parmesan cheese. This is my first time using like the kind of the bag. I always usually shred my cheese off the block, but we're gonna try this. Three cheese for lini pasta, and then I also have. Um, this one. And this one is the three cheese tortellini pasta. This is a mixture of ricotta, mozzarella, and asiago. But the only difference between these two is the coloring. This is a multicolored, and then the other one is just plain. So I got three things of those: Parmesan cheese for the top. Bag of shrimp. So hopefully this lasts us two nights and this was $43.79. So I think pretty good. Let's not forget the wine. The target I ended up getting Arlo some bubbles for like a dollar. A little bubbles and then some hair products. I heard this was really good. It's a pre shampoo. And then this leave in conditioner. something no. get out of there please no i said no thank you
done cooking. Let me show y'all what I got. Of course, this is not the best look. I got some rolls back there. I'm gonna have to do it on my phone and insert it. But I'm done cooking. I'm about to call it a night. So I'll see y'all in the morning. <sighs> What's going on, everybody? Today is July 26th. Wednesday, July 26th. Um, today, eight years ago, I lost my brother. Um, so I've been kind of going through the motions of that this morning. And <laughs> Arlo, excuse his head, but he had um, speech therapy this morning. So um, he just finished with that. So yeah, I'll probably be just chilling around the house today. I might not pick up my camera that much today. You know, just because of the simple fact. So I'm just gonna take this time to do as I feel where it is. My body and my mind feels like it's doing. That's what I'm gonna do today. So that's gonna be pretty much it for me today. And I'll check back in with y'all sometime tomorrow. Hopefully my hair will be somewhat done. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. Oh shit. About to head to the salon. y'all up to this morning i seen the um meme that said if you can wear a wig in this type of heat you might as well be a fireman i cackled <laughs> Woo! because it's so hot out here it is hot it's humid what the weather looking like where y'all at 83 degrees at 9 14 in the morning wow I can do the heat, but it's just the humidity that just I don't like. I can't, I can't, I can't free with it. So yeah, I'm being a passenger princess right now. So I was trying to avoid going to the hair store, but it looks like I'm still gonna have to go because when I went back there to see if we had to color hair for my client. I didn't. When I tell you it's hot out here, it is hot. Like disrespectful. I remember going to a store one day and I I didn't parallel park. I um well I did parallel park. Not bagged in. I bagged in. And it's uh when I got out this man said you did that. I was like, ha, yeah, mm hmm. <laughs> Hi, Hello. I just finished with my client, four hours, mm, which isn't bad. All of this hair, she has. So yeah. I know I need to get a port or something for my computer so that I'm able to Upload. I have a external drive. I think that's what it's called. I have one of those. But I need um like a port 
so that I can use the external drive. I started back reading the book that I started on like a couple weeks ago. The read as I've read it is really good. What else has been going on today? Uh, my client whose hair I just finished, she asked me, do I give makeup classes? And I'm like, that's a great idea. But the only thing is, if my if I if I do like some knotless braids, I'm not. I don't want to do a makeup after that. So maybe if I do like a sew in or something, I'm all over the place when I talk to y'all. <laughs> I just like whatever comes to my mind. I'm trying to um, think about it. And one thing I noticed when I was getting ready this morning is I don't have any <laughs> regular clothes. Like all my regular clothes are basic. I don't have any cute like leisure wear. I don't have anything. Like I don't really have cute regular clothes. Now, when I'm trying to get dressed up, go out and stuff like that, yeah. All right, I'm stepping. But regular clothes, basic as fuck. What you have to do to the other client? Uh -oh. <laughs> yes, sir. You got you. Uh -huh. you got you. <laughs> I needed some stuff anyway. <laughs> I am just getting to the salon. <laughs> oh, man. Got react different to it. It's actually perfect. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Trying something new. Yep. 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 I like it. About to go to the grocery store, get some dinner. I am Getting ready to cook. Tonight I am making hamburger steak. Um, hamburger steak, rice and gravy, squash and zucchini. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do tonight. And Arlo is watching TV right now. He's quiet. So, while well, I still got y'all here, did you know some of the vegetables in the grocery store have like some type of chemical on them and how you can tell the difference between that type of vegetable and then the organic vegetable is the sticker like the sticker right here if it starts with a nine then it's organic so if you like organic vegetables i don't know about the fruit but the vegetables always look at the sticker that starts with an i Today is Saturday. I'm about to go to the salon. I have two clients today. Um, yeah, I have two clients today. One I'm doing scalp braids, and then the other one I'm supposed to be doing knotless braids. But I'm gonna try to. She doesn't really know what she wants, so I'm gonna try. Depending on what time I get done with the scalp braids, um, I'm gonna try to see if my other client wants to get something else because the knotless braids are gonna actually run me over my time that I'm supposed to be there. So it's like seven, my first client is at 7.50, I think it's like 7.30 now. And then my other client starts at 12. And I usually leave the salon around 2.30 on Saturdays, try to at least. Um, so yeah, like I said, I know it's gonna run me over my time. So we're gonna see how long I'm at the salon today. And I'll see how when I get to the salon. So I basically worked a 12 hour shift today. Um, went in at 8. Got there at 8. And left at like 7.27. 
I'm ready to get hung. I wanted to do something tonight, but I don't think I am. This is y'all's first time seeing this wig. I am a different hairstyle every other week or every week type girl. So if you see me with a different hairstyle or a different, really they're wigs, different hairstyles, whatever you want to call it, you know, don't be alarmed. This is this is my my everyday for the most part. Don't go back, I can't go back no more. Good morning. Say morning. Okay, today is Sunday and we are getting ready for church. About to brush all those teeth. About to get myself together and head on out. It is. Maybe it's 9 o'clock. Church started at, I want to say, 10.30. So my client invited me um, to church. Two of my clients invited me to church. So um, I've been telling them for since the beginning of the year that I will come. So I'm just going to pop up and say surprise from here and enjoy church. All right, let's start with brushing your teeth. Okay. No, okay. Do you want mommy to brush your teeth? Come on, open your mouth. Say cheese. Say cheese. Alright. I'll be back. Because I know what I gotta do with him. Your girl is ready and prepared. Put on my shoes. Thank you. You're about to get ready to go. This is what I'm looking like. I do actually. See you later. We made it to church, as you can see. I go to sleep. Go ahead and put on my heels. Um, we are in the process of finding a church home. So usually, me and Arlo go out and do the scouting. I give the report when I get back to the house, and the second time. Me and my husband will come, so so that he can check it out. Um. So yeah, that's this is what we're doing. They want to drink all his juice. Hopefully, he, he usually does pretty good in church. So I know my clients said that they had um, a children church or children. Um, Daycare. I'm not going to send him there the first time, my first time. So hopefully he does good in the regular church because that's where he's going. He's going to be with me, of course. He got his daddy jeans because he is sweating. All right, I'll see y'all when I get back. So we have. Um, 
but so yeah the Samaria woman walks to the well to get some water and Jesus asks her can you give me some water and the Samaritan woman's like I'm a Samaritan woman and you are a um, you're not supposed to be talking to me because we are different we uh, come from different places blah blah and Jesus said to her if you knew um, who you were speaking to I think that's what he said hold on wait, let's see what he said Jesus answered her if you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks you for a drink you would have asked him and he would have given you the living water giving you living water baby I ain't never had a hair air up this high never I don't know what they got into the clouds the, the air the sky I don't know but uh -uh, this ain't it this heat is not it at all and my phone says only okay the truck says it's 95 my phone says it's 88 baby jeez my, my wig about to crawl off let me keep on though me and Arlo is about to um go to this restaurant and eat, try to eat some brunch but the wait is like 45 minutes to an hour for two people nah, if it was a little cooler, yeah, you know, 45 minutes to hour, cool. No, sir. Uh-uh. Now, we have to find somewhere to eat. He's like they're taking off his shoes, like always. We have to find somewhere to eat. We made it back home. And when I tell you... Like that heat is on your head. Like But anyway, um I'm gonna end this vlog right here. Arlo and I um finally found somewhere to eat brunch. We ate brunch, we enjoyed brunch, we enjoy each other. So now he's asleep. I'm pretty sure that I'm about to take a nap too. Get out of these clothes. And yeah. Just chill for the rest of the day. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this vlog. I'm pretty sure I did a lot of rambling in this vlog. But you know. I hope y'all continue to watch. I I pray that I continue to get more comfortable and continue to have more conversation for y'all, continue to have more good um, topics and stuff to talk about so that y'all can chat with me in the comments. Come back next week for vlog number three. See y'all next week. Bye.